Okay, um, I'm going to try to do this, uh, this quick tutorial in about 10 minutes or less. Um, what I'm going to try to do is show you how to add fur to a creature like my gorilla here. And speaking of my gorilla, I've opened him up in Blender, and here he is. Go ahead and uh, do a test render just to show you what he looks like without his fur on. He's naked. And uh, so this is what he looks like without his fur. I'm going to go ahead and show you how to give him some fur. First thing I want to do is create a create a new vertex group. I'm going to call it fur. I'm in the uh, in the editing panel right here. I'm not going to get too meticulous with the details. Hopefully you kind of know what you're doing already and you know the interface. So I'll just show you how I do it. Uh, okay. So go to weight paint and go ahead and start painting it on. There we go. Just want to paint where the the hair is going to go. Don't want any on the chest. There we go. And go ahead and blur it on the edges, so it's not a harsh transition there. Go ahead and zoom in. Uh, one easy thing, or one thing that makes it easier, is to turn on the wire view, and that's in the uh, the object F7 uh, panel. Just click on wire in the draw extra area. So makes things a little easier to see when you're doing this. Okay, go to the back view. Control one on the numpad shows you the back. And go ahead and add the fur back here. Now this this is my technique. I'm not sure exactly how they did it on the Big Buck Bunny. I'm sure it was sim something similar to this, but uh, I'm sure they had a different style and whatnot. But this is how I do it. Well, that's how I do it for now. I tend to change my techniques the more I learn. But for now, this is how I do it. And go ahead and go on the, on the head. And add it here. Sort of give him a, what I call an Amish beard. You ever see an Amish guy walking around? They kind of got the beard, but no mustache. So that's kind of what I'm giving this guy. Uh, go ahead and blur up the edges here. And uh, in case you don't know, I didn't want to get meticulous, but you may not know. Anyways, uh, in the weight paint, you can turn on X mirror, and it does both sides at the same time. Cut your workload in half. Makes things go a lot faster. And that really helps when you're uh, painting weights for uh, armatures and things of that nature, too. Okay. So basically, there we go. This is where his fur is going to go. So go ahead and go back to object mode. And go ahead and turn off the the wires. There we go. And now I'm going to go to the particle buttons and add new. Make sure it's hair. And start adding the normal. And you can see it kind of sprouting out there. And uh, it's kind of going wherever it wants to right now. But we're going to tell it where to go. Over here in the extras, under vertex groups, says density. I'm going to click the little down arrows here to the side. Click that new. Uh, vertex group that we just made, and it's going to apply it uh, just in the in the in the weighted area. See, it's not on the face or the hands. A uh, little bit on the chest, but that kind of just uh, gets on there sometimes, depending on how it's how it's painted out. I could fix it, but uh, I'm trying to get this done quick. Got about five minutes left. See if I can do it. Okay, go to particle mode. And we're going to go ahead and set this editable. And hit in, bring up the particle edit properties. And we're going to comb it. Just kind of comb it all on just general direction. There we go. Going to leave the head for last. Because it's kind of different from the body. The body's kind of just one general area. And the uh, X and Y. Plane, but the head, you kind of got to sweep it over the head like it's been slicked back, like he's a greaser or something from the 50s. Okay, go ahead and just kind of comb it the way you want it to look. Okay, 
So that's basically it. Go ahead and come back out of particle mode. And I'm going to, in, in the particle panel under visualization, I want to turn on emitter, turn it on. And go ahead and, uh, we want strand render. And go ahead and turn on children, we want faces. And uh, with the strand render, it gives you the option to really max out those fur uh, children. So I'm going to set that up to a thousand. You could probably go even higher than that if you wanted to, uh, but there's really no need to. A thousand should be perfectly fine. Go into the simplification tab now, turn on child simplification, and click viewport. And I'm going to go ahead and render them out. F12. You can kind of see what the fur is going to look like. Got about two and a half minutes left. Hopefully this will uh, look good. Okay, doesn't look too bad. Doesn't look too bad. But we're gonna go a step higher. Let me X that out. And uh, one thing I want to do in the visualization: uh, make the random length uh, max it out, and that's gonna. What that's going to do is going to make the hair look a little more uh, natural because before it was like every strand was like the exact same length. So now it's just a random set of length and uh, makes it look more more realistic, more natural. And uh, you couldn't hardly see it. Go ahead and give you a view of that again. It's really dark, so I'm going to change its material. Actually go into the, excuse me, the editing F9 and... Uh, Add a new material. Gonna go back here. Gonna name that fur. And let's go ahead and make it uh, just a, a darker gray. There we go. Takes that sheen off of there. We don't want don't want him to be wet. Unless you want him to be wet, then you can add a sheen, and uh, you want to add clumpiness and stuff like that too. But that's that's a whole nother a horse of a different color. Um, okay, so now. We got the, the basic color. Go ahead and turn on sh uh, the strand uh, view. Eh, it was a little dog or something. I don't know. Texture buttons. I'm going to add a new one. And uh, going to add a blend. And we're going to colors, color band. Make that black also. Make that one uh, the alpha way down. Change that one. Go ahead and just click that off so you can see what you're doing. So now we got uh, coming from dark black solid to transparent. And what that's going to do is, is give the the fur sort of a, a softer a softer look. And now we need to go over to the texture tab here. Map input's going to be strand. Map to turn off color. Select alpha. And now we go back over here. Turn the alpha way down. And Z transparency. So now you can kind of see. Maybe it's difficult for you to see because I'm sure this is a lot smaller than I'm seeing it. But uh, it it fades from. Uh, from dark gray to transparent. Go ahead and select the strands. Uh, start one end. Gonna go ahead and make that 0.25. That's the lowest you can go. It's 0.25. So we got uh, a tapering off from the start to the end. Okay. Forgot to add that new texture to the fur. So I've got to go into here to the fur. And uh, right here in the visualization where it says material, we we added that to material and it's material number five. So material five. Now then, render that bad boy out. And processing. There we go. Dark gray fur on our gorilla. That's basically how you do it. You can go ahead and add uh, a material to it if you want. Just do it the same way you would do it to anything else. You know, the UV maps and all that. But this is the basic way how to get thick, bushy fur. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. See you next time.